Alright, I figure I'd further document my uh, stereo install. As you can see, I've already re removed that panel over there. So I can put the new speaker in, which is right down there now. I'm going to be installing the new speaker in this location over there as soon as I wire it up. Pulling this panel off was relatively easy. This top panel was next to run the quarter glass. That's so I can run wires through that hole right there, down, down, eventually it'll come out here, and I'll just mirror along the side of this cable. Uh, as far as removal of this stuff, this was the uh, core panel. It uses those kinds of pins there. That's the trim piece that was mounted right here. This used the regular old-fashioned kind of snap clips to get out. To do that, I used one of these tools here, just a basic panel removal tool. What you want to do is make sure you get underneath that clip and pop it so you don't damage the underlying substrate that's attached to. It's pretty easy to do really. Uh, a little tip for getting those these little push pins out right here. Okay, Rather than just push them through and permanently losing that down some black hole here, I used this tool here which has a sharp tip on it. I hope this is focusing me. Use a sharp tool, you sharpen it up to a pin, very sharp pin. You can actually jam this in just, let's try to get this on camera, with it together, with it pushed in like that. The idea is you just kind of dig in on the side, pull that up a little bit, and then you can use some pliers to withdraw that pin. That way you don't lose a little plastic pin. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm sorry. For the stuff that take out, there's one here that has to come out. Oops, you can't see what I'm talking about. There's one here that had to come out. Uh, there's a couple around here. It's pretty obvious what has to come out, really. And, oh. Uh, I had to get the, of course, I had to get the, this retractable uh, seat belt. Had to come out one big bolt there, a big 16 millimeter bolt. It goes up here somewhere in order to get this panel off. But I have pretty good access now, and my plan is going to be to probably wire up, since I get into this so easy, I'll probably wire two speaker runs, two independent runs for aftermarket uh, stereo equipment, and I'll also use the existing wiring harness. So that speaker will have the regular wiring harness that Dotson uses, plus a secondary run just for the aftermarket stereo. That way, if for any reason everyone to ever use a plug-in radio, they could use, just use the plug, it would work in a mono, normal normal situation. Or you can use the two separate speaker runs that I'll have. Who knows, I might even put RCA jacks on them or something like that, just to make it easy to hook up. Anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to, uh, oh, one other little thing over here that was a little bit interesting was, you see that hose right there? That's one of the vent lines, it's right centered in the picture. I had to kind of work that, get a little bit more extra play out by kind of stretching it out and getting the Mexican because it was kind of a uh, maximum I could because it was kind of interfering with the speaker. But I was able to get it pushed down low as you see there so it now goes around the back of the speaker magnet. But we're all good to go. Now I'm just waiting for my uh, speaker wire to come in. I ordered some black, uh, some white with black striped speaker wire to kind of emulate the factory settings. And then it's just a matter of making the run through here. I don't think I'll go through and try to rewrap it once I get it through here. I'll probably just take a take uh, electrical tape and wrap it periodically along this cable and run it straight up to the stereo. That's all for now. One good thing is I, as long as I have the car apart, I've noticed it's in really good shape. There's a here. Get this one and show you what I mean. There we go. So what we have here is the uh, I pulled the the back. the carpeting out of the way. I mean, the, it's in perfect shape. There's absolutely not a hint of rust anywhere in here. You'll take my word for it. I'm not going to pull all that out, but the car's really good and solid. So, obviously, I got a good deal on that part. And you can see where I have all the speaker wires pulled apart. This is the uh, factory right here connection. You can see somebody's already put a blue power lead in it. That was for the aftermarket stereo. I'd like to be able to... Uh, I've actually ordered enough parts that I should be able to tap into this to use the power lead and the light lead and all the other kind of stuff for the aftermarket stereo. 
so I won't have to have that blue wire. I'll just leave that alone for future use. And like I said, I'll probably have the uh, the two stereo speaker wires come out here, and I'll hook them up to a, an adapter that'll work with the uh, stereo. The whole idea here is to have everything be as close to plug and play as possible. You know, no hard wired connections. It should all just plug into the radio. So I I ordered the correct uh, plugs to go with the uh, the Datsun radio that's coming, the Datsun stereo radio that's coming. So I should be able to do a, as close to plug and play as possible. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.